What is going every we back at it again tight beat with some more beyond Dragon Ball Super. You know what I'm saying? Uh sorry if the video sounds a little bit different. Look, I got the fan on in the background. It's hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what is I got two fans on. I don't really feel this one. What the fuck? I to give me, a, give me a new smaller fan. But anywho, that's last episode. These niggas transformed again. We, I knew they had something in their back pocket, bro. Omega Kuliza has been born. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know about Goku and Vegeta, bro. I don't know. Ah, like, will they fuse? I don't know. Like, will Goku get his angel powers back? Who's to say? You know what I'm saying? Also, we have we have spectators. Everybody pulled up. Beerus, Whis, the top five, the Grand Prix. Like, everybody, everybody here, man. To watch this so which i would too i, I thought they were gonna do like a crystal ball type thing but now nah, they want like i said they want courtside seats to this shit so i nah, don't blame them but anyway give it up with a like comment down below and subscribe go to 3k so you're not subscribed subscribe hit the bell Follow me on patreon twitch and the gaming channels link in the description down below and without further ado let's dive on in also you know what i'm saying subscribe to ads give up two million you know what i'm saying that'll be ratio i like seeing that Know it. The unstoppable fusion versus the strongest Saiyans. You fucking like the Mega Kuliza versus Goku and Vegeta. Let's go the last time. As our story now continues following the events of Kaliza being shown having to unveil an unreal looking at us onto the surface, as with the newly transformed Omega Kaliza now being shown having to stand before Goku and Vegeta, it was only just as Kaliza went on to address them where Kaliza then went on to comment, I want you both to gaze upon the incarnation of your deepest, darkest nightmares that has now manifested into becoming your unfortunate reality, Saiyans. What you are mm. seeing is the epitome of supreme power. And if you mm. thought that I was difficult to destroy before, then the two of you stand no chance at what I am now. And as it stands, I am stronger than both of you, and you know it. So it doesn't matter who you, you build, decide bitch. to bring bitch. here with you or how many of you attempt to attack me together, you will all single-handedly fail. Who this nigga think he talk? I know he ain't talking to them. I know he's not talking to them. <laughs> Budo, look, 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 I, look, I do not fuck with you, but look, you know what I'm saying? I respect, respect, dude. I know, I know you, I know you one of them niggas, man. This nigga don't know. So you can both try as much as you'd like, and I'll gladly show you the difference now between us. First, I will punish you both, inflicting as much physical damage onto your individual bodies that I could. And once I've had my fill at watching you each suffer, then that's when the two of you will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The power emanating from this fusion is extremely abnormal, Budo went on to then chime in. And from what mm. I can sense down there, he also appears to be much stronger than the Saiyan mortals as well. What say you, Akuma? I agree, Akuma responds. However, mm. I doubt that it'll be an easy fight for that fusion to win, especially since neither of these Saiyans look as though they're about to give up anytime soon. Keep right. your eyes on them at all costs. If anything, sweet. With Primal Goku then responding, Oh, well, this is just great. Now their fusion is far above what either of us are within the moment, and we're only starting to get more and more tired the longer this continues. Oh, any ideas hmm. on how you want to go about this, Vegeta? With Vegeta responding, Sir, oh, well, dropping out of either one of our forms isn't going to help us. So whatever Facts. happens, make sure that you remain in your primal form while you can. It's either going to be him or us. And so we have to try and find a way to slow him down before he gets going. You Saiyans could never understand the depths of the rage and hatred that festers within me that I have for the two of you. Talk to you problem personally. Our power now <laughs> Could it be any more obvious if it already wasn't before? And so here's one of many examples of what I mean. This little ball of energy here has enough power behind it to wipe out our entire universe if ignited. And so what makes either what, of you what you gonna do that? 
compete with what I am now, Kuliza asks, let alone what I have yet to fully show you both once we start fighting That is kind of OD. That's, 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 that's really OD. Every possible approach that we could in order to make sure that we never fall to either of you monkeys ever again. Even if it meant temporarily mixing your DNA with ours to do it. Now this is going to be good, Yoshi. Hmm, so cool. to comment. What do you think, Takira? You think these two will have what it takes to be done with this fusion so that we can go back and finish that tournament, or are they both doomed? With Takira responding, unless they are able hmm. to find the source of that fusion's weakness, then they will fall. So I wouldn't rule them out of this yet, so let's see. I possess the greatest power in the entire universe with no equal in sight, Kuliza went on to then continue. I, I... What you both are about to experience will be the last He's talking ahead right now, bro. you will ever wage. Our might knows no bounds, our potential knows no bounds, and our power is second to none, especially when compared to yours. And don't you dare even think for one second that our fusion is anything remotely similar to either of yours, Kuliza continues. Because unlike mm. your fusion, ours isn't limited by the restrictions of our power outputs, which means that we can continue to grow stronger along the way with no drawbacks on how long we can remain fused either. Hey, we full hour is into great Pataras. Crushing <laughs> both beneath the might of our ultimate power, and that is exactly what we intend Need that to shit right do now. now that we're ready to finally put you both to rest. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Takira Budo then went on to turn by asking, because from what it sounds like, if that fusion is somehow able to destroy the mortal Saiyans below, then he will likely try and challenge us next, which would certainly be a big mistake if he does. So should <laughs> we go and put an end to him now or what? With Takira responding, <laughs> this is not our battle, so we will remain here and watch in the meantime. We have no business getting involved in something that doesn't require us to be a part of, and so unless they are foolish enough to attack us first, then we will wait and watch. You're gonna fuck on and find out too, bro. To stick his <laughs> arm out by then responding, you two have stood in the way of my plans for the very last time. Our destinies couldn't be any more intertwined, especially with the history that we all share, which is why this is going to be so extremely satisfying for me. And so it begins then. And since he's already here, this will now save me both the time and the trouble of looking for him once you both die, because once you are both dead and out of my way for good, then the god of destruction Beerus is next. That's crazy, bro. That freak of a fusion just what that nigga said, cut? To then ask? Correct me if I'm wrong in case my ears aren't properly able to hear what they just Don't do it, Beerus. Don't crash out, big bro. Fusion just mentioned coming after me after he destroys both Goku and Vegeta down there. Yeah, he oh, did, bro. That does it. With Whis chiming in, I wouldn't jump into this battle quite yet if I were you, my lord. As if it wasn't obvious already, this Omega variant that Kuliza is displaying is much stronger than you are. So this mm. battle does not involve any of us, as Takira mentioned, and so we will leave this up to Goku and Vegeta to That's tough, Beerus. Since this was That's tough, big dog team. Here in the first place Stop goddamn sleeping, big bro. You better start training. Just before Kuliza was now shown getting ready to make his move, where Kuliza then went on to respond, Now I think it's time that we start to see just how good the two of you really are. Yes, now let's start with seeing how good your eyes are. So you better both start moving fast, because I'm about to pick the two of you apart without you even having the chance to see what hit you. Oh, this is it. He's about to make his move on us, Vegeta. Stay sharp. Mm. With Vegeta responding, I'm ready, but look closer. He isn't using energy in a way of creating any sort of energy attack, which means it's a forced base attack. Kakarot, get out of the way now or you'll be caught. Which seconds later, as the ground mm. beneath them was now being shown getting completely destroyed, it was only just after both Vegeta and Goku were now shown getting out of harm's way was when Vegeta then went on to shout, Go damn them! That was way too close of a call and we barely even saw it coming. Are they Oof. nuts or what? But then, it was just from out of nowhere where Omega... Ooh, not, my, not in the sternum. Oh my god. ...mastered Ultra Ego Vegeta by from there being shown kicking him away as Kaliza then went on to respond, Let's get this out of the way now and start with you, 
since you and this ridiculous destroyer power of yours has been a thorn on my side since the very beginning, Vegeta. Mm. Whoa, now that was fast. Yoshido then went on to chime in. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Aye, aye. The fusions baited and fell right into his oncoming attack, which caught the purple one off guard. What a <laughs> bunch the of purple idiots, one. especially that mortal Goku. Budo then went on to respond. Well, let's see if he can do what he did against us with this fusion, and for his sake, they better hurry up and win. Never mind mm. the amount of times where you should have died a long time ago mm. before, Vegeta. I promised that I'd show you pain. I tried warning you that this would happen, but at least now I will have the chance to crush you both since Goku's I don't see how the hell they're gonna win. How they gonna beat this nigga, bro, without a fusion? I want to hear you beg for your life. Oh, we're never doing that. Only just now from behind Kaliza as Primal Ultra Instant Goku was now shown making his way towards him where Kaliza then went on to continue. Ah, and here comes the other one to the rescue. Yes, Get off my bestie, nigga. always did uh, manage to travel in packs before they were all destroyed by me. That's right, Goku. Right this way. Now let's see which one of our Apex forms is truly the superior of the two. In which upon Primal Ultra Instant Goku now shown having to attempt to strike Kaliza with Kaliza all of a sudden now vanishing. That's when mm. Kaliza went on to then continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you thinking that you'd catch me off guard and assume that I wouldn't already see you coming, Saiyan? Perhaps I was just expecting for you to be a little faster than this, God Monkey. Now don't no, no. tire out on me just yet, slave, because it's my turn now. Oh, damn it. Where did he go? Goku then went on to further question. No, his reaction speed is a lot greater than I thought it'd be, and so now where did he go? And it feels like he's using instant transmission to move around, but mm. it also feels like he's a lot faster than that too, with Vegeta then having to shout, that, that's because he is to your side, Kakarot! He's <laughs> coming up right next to you! Your blind you spot! Nowhere, before you know it, as soon as Put was your hands up! To strike Goku on Ooh, the side shit, of not his side sternum. Ooh! Respond. Now that's what you Ooh. call true speed, god monkey! You two uh, that, 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 nah, that shit hurt. Show compared to what I am now. So come now, Goku. There is much for me to show you, in which upon police and now being shown Dragon Goku away, it was only just as a very angry Vegeta was beginning to oversee this, where the Grand Priest then went on to chime mm. in. And I must admit and say that to see Kaliza's fusion be able to fight apart both Goku and Vegeta like this is definitely impressive, and yet, also very alarming too, to say the least, as Vegeta mm -hmm. went on to comment, Oh, this is just insane. There has to be some kind of a way to disorient their fusion, but how? If what they said about their enhanced yeah. time limit is true, then surely their hour has to be coming to an end soon, but are they aware? No, they certainly must know, unless their arrogance has blinded them from the truth. And if that's the case, then that leaves them vulnerable. Their power output could be the key to ripping their fusion apart in the long run. In which when then going back to Kaliza and Goku mm. with Kaliza being shown throwing Goku we'll back see. Down onto the ground, that was when Kaliza went on to respond, you Saiyans could never understand on how long I've waited to see this day between us. While the two of you were busy training away, I made sure to take every possible approach that I could in order to counter everything that either of you would ever throw my way. Everything, you dirty little monkeys. And I've harnessed <laughs> my anger and ways to where I am now able to channel this emotion into raw power to use against your you. hatred your saying or anger is all that remains for a long forgotten era Kaliza then continues which I plan to wipe away for good once this day is over and I will use your own techniques and power against you both to do it now watch as I use yet another one of your adversaries techniques against you so try as much as you'd like I can already send you both tiring out the longer this goes. What you doing? Imagine being crushed beneath the weight of your own planet's energy while you both wither away within the depths of your own failure to do anything about it to stop me. Ironic, mm. isn't it, monkeys? Alright, that one really hurt just now. Goku then went on to get up by responding. Oh, this. so I was right. He's moving at speeds which go way beyond the pace of even my instant transmission. And he's able to do it while masking his energy too. Well, don't skip ahead and get the 
wrong idea here, Kuliza. Cause the Frieza side of you should already know what me and Vegeta are capable of, and especially once we're both backed into a corner with no other way out except through our opponents. Uh -oh. And if you haven't figured that out by now, Goku then went on to continue, then you will soon enough. And although you've enhanced these Potara earrings to maintain this body of yours, and I think you're really starting to underestimate our knowledge on those things. And especially since mm. we've had way more experience of using them than you ever did. You really think that you can pull this master plan of yours off and destroy us both for good this time? And of course I will, Kuliza then went on to quickly yeah. respond. And I don't care how experienced the two of you are by using these Potaras. Your bluff means absolutely nothing to me, but then it was only just Bet. now from out of nowhere behind Kuliza was when Mastered Ultra Ego Vegeta had now gone as far as to blindside Kuliza by then shouting, well it should and it's not a bluff, you coward. We are far from done and so on is back out. Yeah. Blood pumping. And if you think that we aren't going to turn this around on you, then you're in for a rude awakening, Fusion. In which seconds later, even despite Vegeta's best attempts of blasting Kuliza from behind, it was just as Kuliza mm. was now shown having to deflect each and every single one of Vegeta's energy blasts away was when Beerus then went on to chime I don't think that's here. I don't think that's here. Hurt though. One bit, and it's hard to tell, but are those Saiyans really running out of gas down there or what? Well, they have been fighting separately for an ongoing period of time, my lord, but exactly. so even if they Niggas are need a beam. to feel exhausted, I still don't think that they will fall. In which seconds later, the moment Vegeta had now created an opening for Goku to swoop on in and now attack Kuliza was when Vegeta then went to shout, Now, Kakarot, while you have the chance! No, oh, there we are! Now I've got you! With Kuliza then responding, That nigga ate that. You thought I couldn't see you coming? Your coordinated efforts of attacking me won't help you this time, monkey. Oh, this fusion freak is good. Yoshido then went on to Did he just bitch slap my like nigga, bro? Him. He's also very sturdy compared to how his body was just a few minutes ago, too. So now we're talking. As expected, Kuliza continues, trash will always belong with trash no matter the size, <laughs> filthy Saiyans. You then the trash can trash. So predictable. <laughs> you follow the same method of attack despite knowing that you can't win. But here you go, Vegeta. Kuliza then went on to throw mm. Goku into Vegeta by then responding. A bit of target practice for you since your aim is starting to miss its mark. No, oh, now how is that fair? Weiss Beers then went on to quickly shout. Mm. That fusion starting to use those Saiyans in ways where they'll attack one another on accident. Well, Kuliza is fighting dirty, which is exactly why the odds are leaning more in his favor for the time mm. being. Weiss then went on to respond. He already knows what to expect from both Goku and Vegeta, which is why he is starting to use them to attack blue one blue his, his, his bestie back out, bro. He knows that it'll Damn. help him, to which as Vegeta was now shown doing just that, that was when Vegeta then went on to shout, God damn it, he used Kakarot as a ploy. Get out of my way, you fool. Focus. He's trying to do whatever that he can to confuse us. Oh, damn it. Well, come on, <laughs> then, Fusion. Just remember that the longer this goes, the stronger I'm going to continue to get, and you know it, coward. Now, come mm. Come on, with Kuliza then being shown dashing towards Vegeta by then responding, Oh, don't try and act like this body of yours doesn't have its limits, whereas mine remains indestructible, Vegeta. You had your chance to try and destroy me like you said you were, and you couldn't do it. And the mm. reason on why you couldn't do it was because you simply weren't strong enough to match me, and you know it. You worthless worms underestimated the lengths that I would go to in order to achieve my goals against you. Night sacrifice anything and anyone that I could to ensure my dominance and rightful place as the ruler of all creatures across the cosmos. Oh, we believe you. Oh, we believe. What the hell is going on with those two down there, Beerus then went on to further question. Can those Saiyans not use their full power against that fusion or what? Oh, this is just getting very annoying and I can't help but feel as though something's off. What's going on with them, Whis? Are they finished down there against this monster mm. or not? Because I refuse to accept this as being the outcome of their battle with Whis responding, well this might come off as a bit unusual to you my lord, but and I have this feeling that both Goku and Vegeta know exactly what they're doing down there. Try and look closely with Bruno mm. to ask is that true? You see something don't you? Tell us are the Saiyan mortals doomed to fail or not? But Sekiro responding they will lose only if they fail to capitalize on the fusion's remaining time limit in battle. These Saiyans appear to be studying 
seeing this Kaliza despite sustaining massive amounts of damage onto their physical bodies while they do it. The source that mm. the mortal Saiyans appear to be looking for, Takira continues, appears to be coming from a single concentrated point within the body. And it's likely that they are both looking to disrupt the fusion's energy source that binds the two warriors within together as they look to try and break the fusion down from within first. The key is to keep Kaliza mm. in a constant motion, pushing them to further exert more and more power until their body can no longer sustain it, thus cracking them from the inside first. And with that fusion's internal clock ticking, it looks like they're trying to manipulate his movements in order to force Koliza into further draining his power rapidly, rather than in small periods of time like he has so far. And by further exploiting yeah, their to the limit, though. they will be more susceptible to making reckless decisions, which the Saiyan mortals can then use against him. Now, although the strength of this fusion is formidable, even surpassing mm. them both in battle the more powerful they continue to become the quicker they will exhaust their energy and burn right through their remaining time while fused ah so then it's a race against time then huh so then that means if they don't find a way to disrupt that fusion synergy soon yoshiro then went on to continue, okay so i, 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 I can assume that they're not fusing since the fusion appears to be in complete control as akuma then went on to chime in and from what it looks like if those two aren't at full power to expose the fusion's vulnerabilities then they've already lost with Beerus chiming in wait so you're telling me that those two are fighting on borrowed time oh how in the world are they supposed to weaken the internal bond of what keeps that fusion whole and if they aren't strong enough to break through his outer defenses in order to get to the core of where they want to be with Whis responding mm -hmm. by getting Kaliza to slowly start to crack first is what I think will be what helps them and if Kaliza cannot focus due to his emotions getting in the way of his logic then they may have found their window as even the Grand Prix went on to chime in, mm. the combination of psychological warfare and strategic attacks will be the key in unraveling the fusion's flaws. Though, there are in fact one of two outcomes that may in fact happen here, the Grand Prix continues. Either the uh -oh. Saiyans will figure out a way to cripple the fusion from within first, and thus forcing Kaliza in overexerting himself, or he will likely catch on to what the Saiyans are trying to do and destroy them both before they have the chance to do it. Interesting, then we will watch Mm. wait to see which of these outcomes comes true then in which in the meantime when then going back to goku and koliza as soon as goku was now shown having Oosh, to one of his lost some cankles bro then went on to respond <laughs> despite having a new form and being at your best you are making this way too easy for me goku and it'll take a miracle mm. for you and vegeta to come close in beating me but any hope of either of you monkeys having any sort of miracle against me is only but a dream in which within that very moment as Kaliza was now shown grabbing onto uh, Goku's ankles and spinning him around, that's when Kaliza went on to continue. It, oh. This is the <laughs> dream that you will never be able to wake yourself back out of, no matter how badly you try, feeble monkey. Come now, let's go for a spin. I'd rather not. Oh, I've had enough of your games. Vegeta then quickly went on to shout by dashing towards Kaliza. Let go of that idiot and come fight me <laughs> instead, you coward. But Kaliza, on the other hand, had different intentions because upon now being shown having to use Goku as a means of knocking Vegeta away was when Kaliza had continued in spinning Goku around by responding you don't get to tell me what the rules in this fight are Vegeta now out of my way monkey oh you better stand back up and continue to uh -oh. fight Vegeta fight through the pain and don't let Goku or that stupid fusion outshine you do you hear me oh just mm. look at them they're dropping like flies down there in the it, oh <laughs> In. So nobody here is willing to make a wager on this fight? No? Bro, go see therapy, so dog. I hear that while I was butchering your friends and family here on Earth, Kaliza then went on to address Goku by then telling him that you were off somewhere in a faraway place waging war against the five strongest in the multiverse. Now, were you? Well, how cute, Saiyan, but here's <laughs> to a friendly reminder for you on why you should have stayed where you were while you were with them, Kaliza then went on to shout by throwing Goku directly mm. towards the five and 
the gods. There is no need for there to be five when you are looking at the one true strongest in the multiverse. Oh, oh, he talking head top. Really decided to throw that saying towards us on purpose. Beerus then went on to quickly chime in. Oh, he's going <laughs> to crash right into us, damn it. As even Goku then went on to say to himself, I, I can't stop it. The force behind the way he just threw me is too much. I, I, I can't concentrate properly enough to escape. But then it was only mm. now shockingly from out of nowhere before Goku had gone as far as to crash into the others. It was only from out of nowhere where Budo of all individuals had now gone as far not as to Budo, bro. And not Budo of all people too. Going, saying, the last thing we need from you is to crash right into the rest of us while we're waiting for you and your Saiyan friend down there to hurry up and finish this. Now get it together so that we can finally go back and finish that tournament against you, Goku. But Budo, mm. hey, nice save there. So thanks a lot for that, Goku then went on to respond. If you didn't stop me from flying out any further just now, then I likely would have just crashed right into everyone back there. So I owe you one with Budo responding. I don't <laughs> need your gratitude, Saiyan. Now what's wrong with you? You don't appear to be fighting with the same focus and fire that you had when fighting against us. So what's your deal here? And what happened to that angel form of yours that you used before? Have you lost mm. your ways in this battle or what? Cough it up right now with Goku responding. <laughs> well, I kind of still feel like my body hasn't fully cooled down since using that angelic power against Takira. So, and on top of that, I can't seem to concentrate with my mind being so fixated on Kuliza's fusion and all. So I may need a second just to fully be able to collect myself so that way I can focus again with Budo responding then you better hurry it up and make it been hurry it up bro. it doesn't look like you or your friend down there can keep this going forever and for your sake you owe us for coming here Budo continues so that is why you better make this quick while you still can because I'm tired of waiting as Akuma then went on to surprisingly uh -oh. chime in from behind by responding you do understand that we aren't going to wait around forever in order for this to finally be done don't you how is it that you were fully focused against us before but seem to have lost your edge when up against the fusion creature below with Goku responding well Lock in, that's nigga. actually a good question I guess it's because it's Frieza we're dealing with here and the last thing that I ever expected to find out was to hear about how he came back to earth after taking this weird serum of course along with his brother on top of that but by also going as far as to use the Potara earrings as a contingency plan you how dare you stand in the way of our battle by saving that disgusting waste of life, Kaliza then went on to point out by shouting. <laughs> you all there must be the five strongest in the multiverse. That Kaliza, don't do it, bro. Kaliza, don't do it, bro. Yes, Kaliza, Kaliza, stop. Very <laughs> interesting. Well, if choosing to side with this monkey is the hill that you wish to die on, then let us start by tell him. this hill sky high with the bodies of those who wish to die with him. In which, shockingly enough, the moment Kaliza was from that point then shown firing a beam that <laughs> wretched Akuma, creature shut the fuck up shout oh no hey look out behind wretched creature Akuma then went on to quickly respond you clearly have no idea on who it is that you're threatening here we are nothing alike and your late acclaim as being greater than us couldn't be further from the truth mortal and unless mm. you wish to keep the life that you currently have whether you are fused into one body with your brother or not it would be wise for you to keep the five of us out of your business with these saiyans unless you want to be destroyed just like your attack here with goku then surprisingly mm. responding whoa akuma completely vaporized kuliza's blast without even having to turn his head to look and let alone even having to try amazing it was not stressing they not stressing you kuliza Again. Facts. If you go and try that little stunt of yours like that again in order to provoke us, then you will be dealing with the four of us instead of dealing with Goku and Vegeta. And as mm. impressive as this power of yours is, it is nothing compared to our own, Akuma continues. And if you're mm. truly feeling lucky today, then try us and yeah. see what we'll do. Yeah, it's really froggy, nigga, leap. 
more warnings from here on, creature. You will not mm. hurt these creatures by using any of us as bait for you to try and do it. With Kaliza responding, and is any of that supposed to scare me, please? I don't care who you are or how powerful you all claim to be, because I'll have no problem tearing into the five of you just like I'm tearing tell into them. these monkeys. So your empty threats don't phase me, to which upon Takira, Akuma, uh -oh. and Uri now being shown standing in front of Goku. Stand on business. Uh-oh. Hold on. 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 Do it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. About to be pulled in deep waters. They bought the sun, this nigga, bro. It would be wise for you to resume your battle with the Saiyans rather than running the risk of being annihilated by us. Budo already don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Budo, like, I'm ready. Budo, ready to fucking crash out. Uh oh. Look at this nigga. But you'd be crazy to think that you'd be able to actually hang with any of the five of us with Kaliza responding especially at the same damn time come on now you pathetic puppets think this is some kind of a game i'll gladly fight all of you together and i'll start is by this slaughtering like a serious? you as being my first victim slave you will know true power when you see it with yoshino responding Bruh. oh yeah now look they're not stressing you bro right, come on big boy go on Hit me. Make, Make my day. day. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, not stressing so you, bro. Just when Kaliza was shown having to wind his head oh back, my God. from out of nowhere went on to shout, Oh, no, you don't. Leave them out of this, Kaliza. Hey. Is with me and Vegeta, that nigga Goku, see that nigga life does not, bro. Not letting go until our fight is over, you hear me? But then it was only just when Goku was now shown having say to the, see Say that nigga life does not, bro. Goku by then responding, You get your disgusting hands off of that nigga talking about the same damn time bro uh-uh that you're nigga tripping even in your wildest dreams monkey and to think that those were the warriors whom you've been fighting with this entire time now i'll show them i'll show each of them once i'm done with the two of you I'll you ain't showing them shit bro every warrior in the multiverse if i need to once i'm done with my business here and with them but first i want you both to know both you and vegeta Kaliza then went on to drown Ugh, on about a throw. Him, along with being the first to truly experience the true depth and nature of my terrifying and unmatched power you both will pay dearly and no matter which one of you is the first to go the other will soon follow I, I can't break free Goku then went mm. on to utter oh, curse that freak and that ridiculous fusion Vegeta then went on to respond by standing back up but what was that just now when among the five in the sky and it was faint but i sensed friction coming from their spirit just now could that be it it has to mm. be and if it is then that's my ticket vegeta would uh -oh. respond that fusion has completely lost his mind if he thought he was about to fight the five strongest and expect to actually win Beerus that's what i'm saying bro well even if he tried the grand priest responds and i highly doubt that he would have gotten past any of the other four as it is although the fusion's unnatural power is right behind budo's and I still don't see a scenario happening where Budo would have lost to such a creature. And I would have mm -hmm. wiped the floor with his body down there, Budo then went on to respond. He would have been a fool to go and actually try to make a move on me with the Grand Prix yeah. responding. But I will admit and say that it surely would have been an entertaining battle to see take place. That much is for sure. Oh, hey, focus mm -hmm. for a second and just listen. Vegeta went on to address Goku by then telling him. Did you sense that too while you were up there with him or what? There was a moment of friction that was coming from his spirit within with Goku responding yeah but just barely I couldn't focus fully to tell but I felt it too listen as crazy as this may sound if we continue to fight him like this then we'll likely drop out of our forms before he does he's way too strong for us to continue to brawl with like this and we'll need to think of another plan as Kaliza then went on to respond mm -hmm. just look at you both all these years that the two of you have devoted towards playing catch up and not realizing who the true strongest was this entire time me and i'll make sure to keep it 
that way, monkeys. So are Good luck you with that. ready to head into the afterlife, or do you want me to continue to beat you down some more before I go and send you there? With Vegeta then responding, Oh, and so what are you proposing here, Kakarot? The plan is fairly obvious, and I yearn to hurry and get back in there against him so that way I can finally destroy them for good. And especially Frieza. With oh, I know, my bro. I know, bro. We aren't going to make it very far like this, especially if we're both already exhausted as we are. So there's only one other way for us to put an end to him for good, Vegeta. With Vegeta responding, wait a second. And just what exactly are you getting at here, Kakarot? Yeah, you better not you dare. Better not dare say it. Yeah. You know what it is, and it might be our only other shot that we've got. With Kaliza then having to respond, and just what in the world could the two of you possibly be whispering about over there? Are you two trying to mm. decide on who will be dying first or what? With Goku then responding, Oh, come on, Vegeta. It's been a long time since we went along ahead to use... Oh, my God. And besides, mm. with our combined powers with where we are right now, there's no way Frieza's fusion would be able to hold a candle to what we could accomplish. Y'all exhausted right now. Get a sense of being first and then talk to me. Responding, that isn't the point, Kakarot. We have trained together for years and our bond as rivals is what pushed us to come this far in our lives and although mm -hmm. i have no doubt that our fusion would obliterate this bastard without a trace <laughs> i want to prove Facts. to myself that i can beat frieza's fusion alone by using my own strength to do it and not solely rely on fusion as an escape unless we need to now i want to destroy frieza on my own terms vegeta continues i in feel my it own way and not through some temporary means of joining bodies to do it not against him Kakarot now our history with him runs very very deep and the path to victory lies in our bond as warriors to face them alone even if it kills us all I can think about is how badly I want to watch him suffer Kakarot you mm. can never understand the hatred that I share for him and for what he's done so you could forget it whether it's Vegito or Gogeta and it doesn't matter we've come too far and have given too much to reach the levels of which we are now only to stop now so i say i want to diffusion though that's what i see it don't and tease it like that then that's fate and if you don't understand the meaning behind my request then stand aside and let me do this alone with goku responding man you're really serious mm. about this aren't you well i mean are you sure and i get where you're coming from and all but this could be the one and only shot that we have at pulling this off if we do so is that your final answer with vegeta responding yes it is now are you with me or are you not we don't have too much time left this is mm. everything that we've dedicated our entire lives into kakarot and if we die then we die but one thing yeah is for sure, a true warrior going to kill us then i'm going to take a piece of that coward with me in hell with goku mm. responding well all right vegeta i'm with you and so i understand and if we aren't going to be using fusion to stop him then let's go all out by using everything that we're made of to finally put an end to this monster once and for all yeah and stand on business about 10 toes we'll die trying with vegeta yeah. responding well it looks like you haven't gone all soft on me after all you clown then let's mm. finish this for good but remember, let's do it bestie if anything were to happen to their fusion that causes them to separate then frieza is mine Got oh yeah it. all right we no know excuses to which upon goku and vegeta now if they defuse, they about to get their ass dragged. As the two were now shown getting ready was when Primal Goku then went on to respond, All right, Kaliza, and it's all or nothing. We're ready, so let's do this. With Vegeta responding, follow my lead going into this. I have an idea that just might work. With Kaliza responding, very good. And so now, are you both ready to finally die? With Beerus chiming in, now I see. Very good. So they've decided to face him alone now this ought to be one for the ages oh, yeah how fitting it is isn't it weiss responds warriors of universe 7 students of the gods one yeah who walks down the path of a destroyer and another who walks down the path of an angel united as one yeah amazing. let's and get it bro every moment is both primal ultra oh look at that shot oh my god look at that shot bro crispy as the two are now 
now shown having to power mm. and exerting everything they had was when the Grand Prix Let's do it. In. What a truly magnificent sight to behold. So, they have now finally decided to use everything that they are made of in order to finally rid themselves of the burden that haunts their history. Then as we watch them showcase their absolute power against this mighty fusion, we will watch and see what the outcome results in between them as it was only right then and no! during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball no! story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 60 special then comes to Damn. a close. Now this is it with our characters no fusion. having to fully Even though it would have been cool just to, just to just to see it. To slow Kuliza down. This is yeah, that side that hit like uh, so much more to come to That side sternum hit. Oh my god. Manga chapter which will be Uh that 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 shit hurt. <laughs> Oh man, bro. Bruh, that shit would have been lit to see though. I ain't gonna hold you. I see it though. I understand Vegeta, bro. Ten toes down, man. Now nah, fuck that. Fuck the fusion, bro. We go we're gonna kill these niggas with our own power, bro. We come too far for this shit. I understand. I understand. Oh yeah, but yeah, if they if they defuse, oh that's a right for them niggas. It's a it's a done deal. <laughs> If that shit defuse, bro, it is up for them niggas, bro. On me. Oh my god, but this is oh. <laughs> it's gonna be GG. You know what I'm saying? Cause damn, bro, they, bro, they would have fused. And what they are right now? Into Gogeta or Vegito, bro. Bro, they would have dog walked them niggas, man. Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> the top five, they're like, what the? Wait, hold on. Who that is? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. But now, this shit, this shit getting real crazy, though. That, but Khalil talking head top, for, for real. Like, you not about to beat the fi top five all at the same time, bro. You not finna do that. <laughs> That's disrespectful. If I was them, if I was them niggas, I feel disrespected. Cause like, ain't no way he say he, he could be all of us at the same time. Ain't no way he just said that, bro. <sighs> he came at Beerus. Unfortunately, Beerus, he sleep too damn much. And maybe if you were trained, you know what I'm saying. You could have crashed out and go handle that business. You know what I'm saying. But it is what it is. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Vegeta stronger than Beerus. Ain't that crazy? Niggas came a long way. <laughs> oh my god one day no but, but real talk though one day we will see that shit happen though we will, we will see like an ultra ego and like MUI Goku uh fusion type shit and we won't see a, a new Gogeta or Vegito I don't know when it's gonna happen but we gonna see it we gonna see it maybe against Black Freezer maybe against somebody else who knows but we, we gonna see it oh man this shit getting, oh, we getting close to the ending though, man. Oh, man. But, hey, we got other fan manga to watch too, so, you know what I'm saying? Myrno is up next. But anyway, thank you for watching. You got some good traction, man. Hit the video up with a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Rule the 3K. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. And of course, follow you on Patreon, Twitch, and the game channel. Click the description down below. Dr. Alex, you got a 2 million. Yeah, oh, so, hey, cause this shit crazy, bro. Oh, my God. We're almost over with. Uh, we can close. I'm looking at the playlist. There's like, like, like what? Eight videos left, I, I think. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, so y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.